Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go through Dutch Bros earnings quarter conference call to kind of shed some light into what's going on with Dutch Bros stock. It's one of the faster growing stocks in the market today. The company is growing locations, trying to compete with Starbucks in the U.S. coffee business. So let's get into this brief video here. So in its latest quarter, Dutch Bros opened a record 45 new system-wide shops and 42 of them were company operated. So Dutch Bros does have a mix of company owned locations and franchisee locations. And in the most recent quarter, the vast majority of locations opened were company owned. Now I've made this clear that I prefer Dutch Bros open more locations franchisee owned rather than company owned at least to begin with because it takes less capital to ramp up production in that way to ramp up store locations in that way and then once you're more established and your brand is more proven and you've got better cash flow coming in you can use some of that cash flow to invest in some company owned stores however this is what it is let's see how they plan to pivot from this area so they grew revenue by 29.6 percent in the most recent quarter and while 29 29 percent revenue growth is impressive to be sure i don't like how they grew that revenue and i'll talk a little bit more about that a little later in the video so stay tuned so the company is focusing on accelerating shop level profitability particularly in labor productivity to deliver a strong company operated shop margin and that's that's really good to focus in improving performance from each location because if you get the execution right if you get the process right opening new locations becomes inevitable inevitable if you got the if you got the process right and it's making each location is making good profit margins then you're going to have people lining up to open new locations you're going to have franchisees practically begging you to let you open another store if you get the performance right if you get the operations right so it's good that management is focusing in this area so they've demonstrated that they've got a deep bench of qualified operator candidates meaning people that are qualified to open new dutch bros locations now this remains to be seen and i hope this turns out to be true because opening 45 new locations and only three of them being franchisee owned kind of demonstrates that you don't really have a pipeline of ready franchisees. Maybe they're working their way towards that level, but for now, it doesn't look to be the case. And they've got a long term goal of 4000 shops in the next 10 to 15 years. That's going to be hard to do if you don't if you don't get franchisees on board it's going to be hard to do not impossible it's certainly doable but it's harder without the help of franchisees who put up their own capital their own money and their own skills and their own labor to open and operate stores which it really relieves a lot of pressure from the corporation from the company here's the point where i was making earlier where i said the revenue growth was not as impressive and, and here's why you look at for the quarter system wide same shop sales were negative two percent negative two percent so all more than all of the revenue growth came from new locations what i mean by more than all more than 100 percent of the revenue growth was due to new locations not due to increasing demand at existing locations so existing locations the ones that were open for at least 12 months they saw their revenue fall by two percent fall by two percent so that's why i said it's not as impressive as it looks on the surface when you look at oh 30 percent revenue growth that's really good uh if you look deeper under the hood it's not so strong they had to spend a lot of money opening a lot of new locations in order to generate that revenue growth. It would have been more impressive if that 30% growth came because 
of growing demand at existing locations meaning customers are liking your product they keep coming back they tell their friends their friends go there word goes out around the community and demand just keeps growing and you keep getting more sales at existing locations that wasn't the case the good news is that same shop sales fell in to february but then they hit an inflection point in march and they exited the quarter with momentum so coming out of March they had uh, some momentum so hopefully the second quarter improved for Dutch Bros but that's all I've got for this brief video just kind of providing some highlights in what's going on with Dutch Bros stock thank you so much for watching I want to thank the Motley Fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now